Hello friends, welcome to AC Education. In today's video, we are going to cover how we can project different types of planes. Now, plane is any entity or lamina that is a two-dimensional figure that may be circle, triangle, rectangle, or any polygon. When it is inclined with respect to different planes, either may be horizontal plane or vertical plane, how we can see its projections like front view and top view that we are going to cover in this projection of planes. In today's problem, we are going to see a complex problem when a lamina is inclined to both the planes, horizontal plane and vertical plane. So we will analyze this problem one by one. So we will be dividing this total problem into three stages. So friends, let's start with the problem where a pentagonal lamina is given of 30 mm side. So this regular pentagonal having one of its side of base is in horizontal plane while its surface is making angle 30 degree with horizontal plane itself. At the same time, the side of base which is in horizontal plane is making angle 45 degree with vertical plane. So friends, you can see here, this pentagonal lamina is inclined to both the planes so that its surface is making 30 degree with horizontal plane and one of its side of base which is in horizontal plane makes angle 45 degree with the vertical plane. We will see this problem how we can project this plane lamina with respect to XY line that is front view and top view. So friends here you can see I have taken two planes one is vertical plane and second is horizontal plane. Now I have taken this pentagonal lamina in such a way that it is lying on horizontal plane. Now as per the given problem it was given that lamina is having one of its side of base in horizontal plane or it is resting in horizontal plane. So that's why we are supposed to take this lamina in such a way that it is lying on horizontal plane in the first stage. Then only we can go for tilting that object with respect to horizontal plane one by one with and then with vertical plane. As you can see here, this lamina is lying on horizontal plane, but in such a way that one of its side of base is perpendicular to vertical plane or XY line. By keeping that condition, you can draw this pentagon in the top view. And once you get this pentagon in horizontal plane, this plane is lying on horizontal plane. Its projection can be seen on XY line on vertical plane. So your front view would be the straight line, whereas in the top view, it would be a pentagon. So if you are going to open this horizontal plane by rotating in clockwise sense, we can see in the top view, we can see the regular pentagon. And when you project all these points vertically up on XY line, we can see a straight line. So that is the first stage when the pentagon is lying on horizontal plane. Now, as we know that the surface will be making angle 30 degree with the horizontal plane. Now we are making sure that the surface is making angle 30 degree with horizontal plane. So once you tilt this plane, making angle with the horizontal plane, now you can take its projections on vertical plane. If you see, if I'm going to draw its projection on vertical plane, I can see a straight line and when I'll be looking in the top, I, I will be getting what a apparent view of the pentagon not the true shape because it is tilted at certain angle so I'm going to get apparent view of the pentagon in top view whereas it can be seen as a straight line in vertical plane. So here it is what I'm getting straight line on vertical plane when you'll be looking from the front when you'll be looking from the top you'll be getting its apparent view. So friends here you can observe easily here I'm getting the two projections one on vertical plane and one on horizontal plane. On a horizontal plane, I'm getting apparent view of the pentagon, whereas on vertical plane, I'm getting the front view. So these are the two stages, two projections. One is front view, second is top view. In the second stage, the way it is tilted at certain angle with horizontal plane. Now we will move to the third stage when the side of base which is present in horizontal plane so we are talking about this side of base which is present in horizontal plane it will be making angle 45 degree with vertical plane right now you can observe that 
this side of base is perpendicular to x y line or vertical plane so when it will be tilted at certain angle without changing its angle with horizontal plane we are supposed to draw its projection on vertical plane as well as on horizontal plane so first of all let's tilt this plane so that this perpendicular side would be making 45 degree angle friends here you can see i taken that side of base which was perpendicular to x y line now it is making angle 45 degree with x y line so that now it cannot be seen as a straight line in front view now because we are going to get the apparent view of the pentagon in front view similarly when we will be looking from the top we are going to get again the apparent view of the pentagon now it's our task to complete its projection in front view and top view by taking its projections on vertical plane on and horizontal plane so friends these are the two projections that we are getting one on vertical plane and second on horizontal plane so these are the answers or required answer when this plane is tilted to both the plane one with the horizontal plane and second with the vertical plane so this required answer can be drawn with respect to x y line by rotating this plane clockwise sense by 90 degree so that the both the views can be seen clearly so friends these are the required answers that are the projections of the pentagon one in vertical plane second in horizontal plane it means we are getting two projections one is front view and second is top view so friends let's start how we can draw these views both the views in autocad using these three stages so friends by using projection layer and line command make ortho mode on we'll draw a line that line indicates x y line with respect to which we are going to draw the two views of the plane one would be the front view second view would be the top view now as we have seen the plane lamina will be resting on horizontal plane we are going to start from the top view because in the horizontal plane or in the top view we are going to get the true shape of the pentagon so that's why take a polygon command give number of side as 5 in the rectangle you will get this polygon command give number of sides as 5 before you click any point there just do right click on there you can find there as edge select that edge and then click any point on that screen and drag the mouse downward direction now give distance 30 mm and then enter so friends make sure that when you are drawing such kind of pentagon or hexagon just do right click select the edge and give the distance of that edge and then enter so that the pentagon is going to be made of the same size that of you want now you just check the dimension here of the same side whether it is 30 or not now this is what we have just drawn the top view where this polygon or pentagon is lying on horizontal plane itself now we can project all these corner points vertically up in the front view as we know that if it is lying on horizontal plane obviously the surface line can be seen on xy line itself so do one thing take projection layer and draw the projections from each and every corner point till the xy line so before you are projecting all five corners vertically up you can name all these five corners like one two three four five due to the multi-line text and using this multi-line text you can name all these five corners either 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 or A, B, C, D, E, F. So friends, once you complete the naming of these all corner points, the later on you can just project all these five corner points vertically up on X, Y line. As you know, this lamina will be reflected as single straight line lying on X, Y line as a front view. So we'll project all these points on X, Y line and then by changing the layer to the continuous layer, we will draw a line between the end to end point. Before I am going to draw this entire line, I would prefer to draw this line into sub parts. Like first part, I am going to draw between the two points first and then I will draw another line. The reason is that whenever I select any line, that line, that part of the line should get selected only. It is important to identify intermediate points on the line. So, 
now i can recognize easily the point 3 and 5 which will be present on that line so i i can rename i can name that point in front view also that will come with dash like on extreme left hand side point it will become 1 dash and 2 dash so name this respective points as 1 dash 2 dash would be the extreme left hand side point similarly inter intermediate point would be 3 dash and 5 dash i'll copy this the same point and i'll edit it to 3 dash and 5 dash on extreme right hand side point it would be the 4 dash so this would be the front view projection of that lamina now we will go for the second stage when surface will be inclined at an angle of 30 degree with horizontal plane so when surface is inclined at 30 degree it means the same line which is appearing in front view that can be seen inclined at an angle of 30 degree with horizontal plane itself i'll use rotate command to rotate that line once you select that line and just do right click and do left click on any fixed point as we know that one point should lie on horizontal plane only make ortho mode off and drag the mouse give angle is 30 and then press enter now here you can see the line has been inclined at an angle of 30 degree now as surface is inclined its projection in top view would be the apparent view of the pentagon that apparent view can be drawn by taking projection of this front view taking downwards in top view and by taking references from first stage so i'm just taking projection from each and every point here you can see i am getting directly end point because i have drawn two lines there so it would be easier for us to recognize that point so now i am using another projection layer to draw the reference from the first stage in the second stage so i am drawing a line from point 1 and i will draw this line from till a line which starts from point 1 dash so that would be the point 1 similarly similarly i will draw a line from 2 till the line which starts from 2 dash like that you can draw another line from point 5 till the 5 dash line from 3 till 3 dash and then at the end draw a line from 4 till a line which starts from 4 dash so respectively we will get 5 points there and once we get all these 5 points you can join all these 5 points by straight line for which you have to change the layer to the continuous layer 1 and then join these points respectively Once you join all these points, it would be better practice to give naming to each and every corner point so that it can be recognized while, in, while doing inclination with respect to vertical plane as well. As we have been given surface is inclined at 30 degree with horizontal plane, that angle is supposed to be shown in the second stage front view. So I'm just naming all these five corners also like one, two, three, four, five. After completing the naming of the corner points of the plane lamina, we are supposed to draw its third stage of the problem where the side of the base which is in horizontal plane will be making angle 45 degree with vertical plane. So in this case, one, two, line one, two is the edge which is in horizontal plane that edge of base or side of the base will be making angle 45 degree with vertical plane for which we need to copy this object we will take it outside or we will take it in forward direction to the third stage at some random distance and then there we will rotate that object by 45 degree so go to the rotate command and select the whole object After taking a rotation command, click on any one point as a fixed point, make ortho mode off, drag the mouse downward direction and give angle 45 and then enter. Now you can see here the whole lamina has been tilted at an angle of 45 degree. To confirm the angle, go to the dimension and check whether the angle made is correct or not. Just click on the two lines between which you want to measure the angle 
and then you can drag the mouse to place that dimension where you want now you can see here the angle is exactly 45 degree between the two lines what we wanted to draw now using this projection layer we'll try to draw the projections that would be perpendicular or that would be vertically upward in the front view so draw all these projections from each and every corner points in vertically up and at the end to get the apparent view in the front view we will take the reference line from the second stage front view so as you can see here four dash line is there at the top we will try to draw that four dash line we will see the line of four coming from the top view and we will draw that line till that line itself so that we are getting the line we are getting the point 4 directly the similar way we can draw a line for 3 dash and 5 dash till the line 3 and 5 and as 1 dash and 2 dash is lying on horizontal plane itself so it is the same line as that of what xy line so now you can recognize the point one by one where one is meeting where point two is meeting 2 dash and point 2 is meeting where point 3 dash and 3 is meeting once you recognize one by one each point you can go to the visible line draw the lines between these points sequentially i'm joining one line between one and two first from two i'm going for three and then three to four and four to five and at the end five to one like that i just connected all these points in a sequence so that the proper pentagonal uh, projection can be seen in the front view. At the end, just recognize all these points and you can name those points like 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash and just name all these corner points what we have assigned before. So friends, once the diagram is made, or once it is completed at the end you can just create that rectangle to have that frame within which we just fit the drawing that rectangle size may be taken as a3 size or a4 size as per the requirement as you can see here i'm just drawing a rectangle of size 420 and 297 that is of a3 size you can scale it up and scale it down that rectangle to fit the diagram also give title block at the end of the drawing where you can give the details of the drawing and details of your own and on what date the drawing is made so that would be giving the total information about the drawing in the title block so friends this is all about when you are projecting any plane lamina when that lamina would be of any polygon that may be pentagon or hexagon this is how we can project that plane when it is inclined to both the planes so we divide this total problem into three stages and we solve them in step by step so friends in the next video we will see another plan lamina that may be a circle when it will be inclined to both the planes to the horizontal plane and vertical plane we'll see how it is a different to project that circle than this polygon till then practice guys and thank you so much